Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and welcome back to our Endless Runner Unity tutorial series where we're looking at all the bases you need to make an Endless Runner fun game of funness. Uh, so last time we took a look at adding score to our character, and this time out we're going to look at adding even more score by using pickups to give little bonuses as you run along. So at the moment, as we run along, we get little bits of score added on over time. As we'll see as we start moving, there we go. So we're running along and we're getting score. But we want to be able to collect some pickups and make our high score even higher than this. So what we're going to do is we're going to need an object to use. So we go into our art folder. We've already got some spreadsheets for the player in the ground. So we need some more uh, assets from our uh, art files that we're using. So if you go into the resource pack that has been linked down below and we've been using throughout the series so far, the, the very good created by the very uh, wonderful Kenny. Um, in our spreadsheets folder within here, we go to spreadsheet and item. So we're gonna grab that and we're gonna drag it into our project folder in here. Perfect. And we need to give that the same settings that we've used before. So if we just have a look here, we can see it's 128 and all these settings are the exact same. So if we go here, we need to set the sprite mode to multiple pixels per unit to 128, filter, point uh, max size we can see down here is 1024 by 512 so the biggest number is 1024 so we want to go with that size here and in format we want it to be true color and we'll apply that and then in our sprite editor in here we can see this sheet has a whole load of different items that we want to use but we're going to use this little golden coin here so we're going to just zoom in and we'll create a box around this guy just like this just make sure the edges are touching the edge of the box. You don't really need you don't need need them to be exactly touching really, but just for the sake of handiness, we're going to go with that. So we're going to apply that, and then we're going to close here, and then we're going to hit the little arrow beside our spray sheet to get our coin, and we're going to drag that coin into our scene. But before we do that, we need to see where we're putting it. So we need to zoom back in on the player here. So we could just manually zoom in, but if we double click on our player, it'll automatically zoom in to Let's close up on him so then we can just zoom out and we have a, a rough idea of what's going on here. So let's grab our coin, put it in here, and then we need to start making it uh, something that we can use in the game. So what we're going to do is we we need it to be able to be uh, picked up by the player and for that we need to make it a trigger object and it needs to have a collider of a trigger. So if we go to add component here, we're going to add a box collider, no not a box collider, sorry, a circle collider. 2D to it and what that does is create a circle collider and if we zoom in on it it's kind of easier to see if we go in close we can see there's a little green ring being created around it and that's our circle collider so we're going to zoom out again and we need to make sure that's a trigger so that the player is able to pick it up because if we don't make it a trigger uh, if we start the game here we'll see that the player can just oh well I jumped too far that's not helpful for anybody um, There we go, the player just runs into it and that's not very helpful for anybody. Uh, so we will grab our coin uh, that we have here. Uh, we're just going to rename this to coin. And on the circle collider we need to make it a trigger, like that. So, this we need to make this coin be able to give our score a nice little bonus. So to do that we're going to have to give it a, a script. So we go to our script folder and we're going to create a new one create a new C sharp script and we'll call this say we'll call it pickup points because that's what it's going to do it's going to create a pickup that's going to affect our points scoring system so we'll open this up here in mono develop once it loads up uh, and so like I said we need to give a certain amount of score with this so we're going to use a public int uh, of We'll call this score to give. Uh, and so that'll just be a, a whole number value that we're going to, this is whatever amount we want our coin to give the player so that when it picks it up, it's added onto our score here. And so our score currently we know is being managed by our score manager script. So we're going to make a reference to that script or um, more specifically a reference to the object in our game that is using that script. So we're going to say here, we're going to say private score manager. So we're creating a, a reference to the score manager and we'll call him that 
the score manager just like that okay so we need we need our scripts at the moment we're just creating something random a, a reference here of a score manager type but we need to know specifically what is the one that we're using in our game so in our start function much like we've used previously for lots of other stuff we go the score manager is equal to find object of type score manager just like that uh, and we're not going to use the update function but we'll leave that there for now what we're going to do is check when uh, the player walks into our object so we're going to use void on trigger enter 2d uh, and basically this is a simple little built-in function i can't remember if we've used it yet in the series but just to quickly explain this is a built-in function within unity that um it checks to see so we've got our if we go to our coin here we've got our circle collider and we know it's a trigger so we know we have a trigger on our circle and basically it goes okay when something enters our trigger and that something is another object that has a collider 2d which could be a box collider or a circle collider whatever you want uh, and we're going to call this other so that's the other collider that's walking into our trigger zone uh, so when something uh, walks into our trigger zone we want to check and see is that the player so if other dot game objects so the game object that is it that is the other uh, and the name of that if that is equal to player which is what we're calling our player object here uh, and again you need to make sure this is written the exact same so if this was a small p for player that wouldn't work we need to make sure it's a capital p so if the other object is equal the name of the other object sorry is equal to player then we're going to do a little bit of code in here um, what we're going to need to do is on our score manager we're going to need a function within that to be able to add some points to it so what will one way we could do is for example is to just go for our score manager dot uh, the score count which is what we're using the counter score plus equals um, our score to give like that so that would be a very simple and straightforward way to do it all that would do is take our current score that, as our players run along and it will add on the value of our coins to it and we could perfectly happily do that and it would be absolutely fine um but the problem is say so if we want to add score for doing that that's fine but maybe we want to add score for doing different things for our player maybe we want to have him reach a certain distance and he will get a, an extra little score bonus and stuff like that so rather than having to create this bit of code every single time um, what we should do instead is within our score manager create a simple little function that any any script can just call that and it'll just very straightforward be able to add on score so back in here we're going to open our score manager script right here and once it loads below our update function and after this curly bracket we're going to create a new uh, function down here so we just say public uh, void um, what do we call this well I suppose very simply we just call it add score add score so this will just, just be what we're adding to our current score and that's going to need to take in a certain value which will be an int value uh, that we will call points points to add and we'll put our curly brackets so basically all it says is this is a function and it needs a, a number value that it's going to take in and um, so that'll be so for example from our coin that's going to be if we go here that's going to be our score to give and we're going to send that to our score manager so here we're going to say in in within here we're just going to say our score count plus equals so we're adding on something else which is this thing we just referenced here which is an int of points to add so we're just going to add on our points to add like that and 
you want to be able to have little functions like this so that you're able to just call them from elsewhere. We use something similar in our game manager uh, script as well. Uh, so rather than having all this text here, what we'll say is, actually no, we'll just get rid of this bit. We'll say the score manager dot add score and then in the brackets we're going to put in our score to give which is right here just like that and put our little semicolons at the end uh, so if we save this and go back into our game we'll hit play and as the player goes oh actually no I just realized we didn't actually give a value for our coin uh, and we didn't even give it a, a script at all so we need to give it the uh, pickup point script of course and we need to give it a score so we'll set it to a hundred just so we, it makes it very obvious here uh, so uh, we'll hit play again actually no hold on, I'll just stop because it's very far over so I'll move it over to the right here just so our player it's a bit easier for our player to pick it up or else we might jump over it a bit too easily so we go like that there we go we pick it up we saw we got a hundred points added on and another player fell down off the screen but as you can see the object didn't didn't disappear so we need to make sure our object is disappearing after we pick it up so right after we add on the score we're just going to simply say uh, rather than destroying the object we're just going to deactivate it because if we're going to have these coins through other levels we're going to need to use them in our with our object pooling system for these coins as well so we just need to deactivate this coin so all we say is game object dot set active false no nope, no nope, facts fa false there we go so what it'll do is just disable our coin object and remove it from the game so we'll just see that again in action and once it starts going Oh, I fell. <laughs> there we go. So our coin was destroyed just the way we want it to be, which is perfect. So now our coin is gone from the game. Well, it's deactivated there. It's still within our world, but it's it's gone for the moment. Uh, so obviously we're going to need to create a system for generating our coins throughout the game. Um, and we're going to take a look at doing that in the next episode of creating a system to handle that but on a very basic level one simple way to handle this could potentially be um which would cause issues but say with our coins uh the way they are here if we grab one of these platforms pop it in there and just go game object and break prefab so it's not a prefab anymore if we grab our coin and we we'll just make a little duplicate and we make that a child of that platform we just created and we we'll drag it up here and duplicate it again and duplicate it again now we have a platform prefab that has a few coins attached to it of course the problem is that we're going to collect these coins and then they'll be deactivated and they'll be no longer active so we'll only have a certain limited number of these coins that will be able to be reused through the system so we could create a, a system a, an extra script that would when these this object is reinstantiated it automatically uh, makes sure that any children are also created but we're starting to create some extra systems here that are kind of unnecessary and not really helpful what would be better is if we could just create an object pool of our coins and be able to, when a new platform is created, just be able to add some new coins onto those new platforms. So that's what we're going to take a look at adding in the next episode. And then we'll have coins throughout our world that our players can have some fun with. So thanks for watching this episode and I'll be back soon with coins and more endless running goodness. Thanks for checking out this episode and if you want even more Games Plus James goodness make sure you hit those subscribe and like buttons. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook by following the links on screen where you can find out all the latest news about the channel. And if you want to help support the show check out the Patreon page where you can get exclusive content in return for helping make the channel even better. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.